The concept or word Islam itself was popularized among many African Americans in the 1950s through 1970s, largely from the media attention and sharp, sometimes scathing eloquence of Malcolm X. Malcolm X, born with the name Malcolm Little, had been a smart and talented youth when a junior high school teacher that he had greatly admired told him that he has no chance of fulfilling his dreams of becoming a lawyer. He should become a carpenter instead. He said, he's, you're good with your hands, work, work, work with wood. Um, Malcolm Little, angry and deflated, he moved to Boston to live with his older half-sister, who was a responsible and hard-working lady, but unless Malcolm himself soon got in with the wrong crowd and turned towards a life of hustling and, and crime. In 1946, at the age of 20, Malcolm went to prison for burglary. While there, partially from the encouragement of his sister, he became motivated to educate and improve himself. He, he spent most nights reading history and science, uh, getting only f about five hours of sleep a night, uh, reading so much and, and needing glasses for the rest of his life becoming nearsighted due to his extensive reading. He also developed his oral communication skills by competing in the prison debate teams. He even copied the entire dictionary from A to Z by, by hand because his sister told him he needs to improve his handwriting. While there in prison, he also heard about a religious movement called the Nation of Islam and soon declared his faith in it. When Malcolm received parole in 1952, he soon ended up working as a full-time preacher and minister of his new religious group, doing much to establish and, or, and or expand the religious communities in Chicago, Detroit, Boston, Philadelphia, Atlanta, and as well as Harlem, New York. As the Nation of Islam grew, um, much to the influence of Malcolm X himself, um, the leader of the movement, an African-American man named Elijah Muhammad, um, Elijah Muhammad appointed Malcolm X as a national spokesman for the Nation of Islam. Malcolm, Malcolm X was very eloquent in criticizing the institutionalized racism of the United States of America, along with his other civil rights leaders of the time. But Malcolm did not believe the solution was desegregation, but rather African Americans being allowed to form their own separate, strong communities that are politically, economically, and religiously independent of white America. His message not only censored the horrid evils of racism that not only kept African Americans politically and economically disenfranchised, but allowed white Americans to hurt or kill African Americans with relatively little repercussions. But the message of Malcolm also inspired pride in being African American itself, being in many ways the beginning of the ideal of black and beautiful, and that African Americans have the intelligence and strength to empower their own selves and communities. The Nation of Islam was a new religious movement begun in the late 1920s in Chicago and Detroit, founded by a man who seemed to be an immigrant of somewhat mysterious racial, ethnic, national origins, a man by the name of W.D. Fard, uh, who, along with an African-American man who became one of the first followers of the message of W.D. Fard, uh, a man named Elijah Poole, who became, who took on the name Elijah Muhammad. This movement, um, which is usually not considered Islam by Orthodox Sunni and Shia Muslims um, because of its novel sort of myths and doctrines that aren't really found in in traditional Islam itself. Um, but this movement preached that W.D. Fard and then Elijah Muhammad preached that 
the original religion of African Americans is Islam. Their religion, their original language, is is Arabic, and that they were originally this glorious founders of human civilization itself, a nation of of nearly godlike, brilliant geniuses, scientists, inventors, who founded m much of the knowledge in the planet itself, and and in, indeed, white people only appeared on a much later date after um, African Africans, um, who they called um, Asiatics, so Asiatics being something of um, a racial term that was used at the time, but in this sense designated people from perhaps the, the, the Middle East, um, that these these Asiatic black people um, only had, had ruled and led the entire the world for thousands of years until an evil scientist from among them, a man named Yakub, Yakub um, invented white people. He wanted to do all kinds of strange things um, and, and malicious or devious things and he was eventually exiled with his followers to an, an island in, in the Mediterranean. And but Yakub in the island pursued his his dreams and ambitions and ended up doing genetic experiments where basically he would um, try to develop a lighter race people. He would kill babies that were darker skin and only keep the lighter skin babies until after uh, a number of generations only lighter lighter skin people existed on his on his island. Uh, eventually they made it, made their way back to the mainland and they were um, but they were seen as such devious people um, trained by Yakub to use lies and whatever means to achieve their ends that they were exiled to Europe um, eventually they became semi-civilized through different prophets being sent to them Moses and Jesus according to this story, um, and but more so use their lies to take advantage, to take civilization from the hitherto black leaders, and indeed were, were able to use their evil means to enslave black people eventually. Um, and so, according to this message, white people were created in, by evil scientists, um, this this man Yakub represents the devil himself, and um, indeed they're trained by the devil to be demons themselves. And so, a common motto of the nation of Islam, the nation of Islam, preached by not just Elijah Muhammad but his foremost public representative Malcolm X, was that the white man is the devil. This movement also had, besides the Yakub myth. Uh, and the um, myth of the Islamic origins of of Africans or Asiatics, as they call them, was is the idea that W. D. Fard, the founder of this movement, who had disappeared by the early 1930s, somewhat mysteriously, um, that W. D. Fard was God himself or God incarnate, and Elijah Muhammad, not the original. Muhammad per se of the early 600s, but Elijah Muhammad, this this man who was from the South of the United States and was living in the 1900s, leader of the movement, he is the prophet or messenger of God, and in in a sense, W. D. Fard is God. They did use the word Islam. They did call themselves Muslims. Um, they used the Quran to some extent. In, within the movement, they, um, although they read from the Bible just as much as they read from the Quran in the movement, they were um, inspired also by the Marcus Garvey movement of the best way to empower African Americans as kind of a racial separ separation, becoming 
autonomous and work themselves up to um, being empowered through uh, politically and economically by guiding themselves, trying to become completely independent of white institutions in the society. Um, so they have this racial separation message. Um, besides that, the they had links with traditional Islam in that they would pray a number of times every day and they had set times for, for prayer. It wasn't five times um, during most of the movement's history. It was rather three times according to the interpretation of Elijah Muhammad. When asked about that later on, he said, well, I'm not trying to overburden my followers. Um, they also had um, some th fasting that they'd partake of. They, they es uh, eschewed the use of pork. Um, so like regular Muslims, they wouldn't eat pork either. And Elijah Muhammad generally encouraged them to live a life of, of detachment, live, live a clean life, um, not only dressing nicely, the kind of a suit and, and tie or suit and bow tie became common adornings for um, African-American male followers of the movement and the women, uh, many, um, indeed most of the women, took on the hijab or headscarf and would, would adorn themselves in flowing garments that wouldn't highlight the natural curves of a woman. Um, and so this movement did have various links with traditional Islam even while having uh, heterodox or, or non-orthodox concepts and and doctrines and myths of the, of the movement as well